We're here with week one of Smogon Champions League, one of Smogon's biggest tournaments, and it's such a big tournament that you get a custom avatar just for playing in the tournament. So in week one, I'm playing SSOU versus March Fires, and I'm using a type of Ice Spam team with Curum and Weavile, and I also have a Magna Zone for trapping. And meanwhile, my team has a combination of like Victini skis, or it looks like U-Turn spam with Weavile in the back and probably Specs Dragapult, that's what I'm thinking right now. My basic idea is to use Magnezone to trap Steel types, and I can win with Scarf Cartana, I can win with Curum, I can win with Weavile. But unfortunately, my opponent has Schizor. And Schizor is the one Steel type that is actually difficult to trap. And this is because it's not weak to Electric, unlike Corviknight, and it has U-Turn, unlike Ferrothorn. So my main goal was trying to figure out a way I could actually break through Schizor. If I could break through Schizor, somehow trap it, then I could really go in with Curum and Weavile and Cartana. And it's worth noting that I don't have knockoff on Cartana. I'm actually Aerial Ace instead for Buzzhole. So that's very important to note, I don't have knockoff on Cartana. So we get into the lead matchups right away, I get Feeny versus Dragapult. And right now, I am Choice Scarf Trick Feeny. So the team is in the description if you want to check that out. I am Choice Scarf Trick Feeny right now. And he goes to Toxapex and I get the trick off and I get a Black Sludge. So the Black Sludge damages me, but overall I feel like this is a good trade because now Toxapex is very uncomfortable versus Weavile. I can't knock off, but Toxapex can't really touch me. Like if it tries to recover or haze, it gets locked in. So even though I get the Black Sludge, I think this is a positive trade. I think this is a good trade for me. So now, it's Choice Lock Toxapex, I'm scared of Scald or Knockoff, I go Lando here. Fortunately, I don't get burned, and honestly, this could be considered a misplay. I could have gone Magnezone, I could have gone Curum, but I went Lando and I did risk the Scald burn, and fortunately, that doesn't punish me, but this was like a slight inaccuracy right there, very slightly. And now I have options, I can, he goes Lando, which I expected, right? He doesn't have anything else for Lando. I can Stealth Rock here, I can knock off. I can U-turn. I choose to U-turn so I can get in one of my Ice types right now. And it's a very uh, subtle distinction right now, but which ice type do I go to? Do I go to Curum or do I go to Weavile? And the problem with Weavile is that it's actually very strong, right? But I'm thinking, what if he goes to Schizor? If he goes to Schizor as I triple axle, right? And I won't knock off because I don't want to knock off the scarf, right? So if I triple axle as he goes Schizor, then he gets a free U-turn, right? But if I go Curum and do that, if I go Curum and do that, Let's see what happens if he tries to get that U-turn off. So he goes to Schizor, he takes the Ice move, just like he would have taken Weavile's Triple Axel. And now I get an Earth Power off, and now he U-turns. And the key difference is I couldn't have gotten that Earth Power off if I was using Weavile, because Weavile would die to U-turn. But now, because I went Curum, I've actually chipped the Schizor into Magnezone range. So I don't know the exact EV spread of Schizor, but I've chipped Schizor into Ranger. That's the subtle difference between going Weavile or going Curum there. So I'm able to chip the Schizor into range of potentially Magnusum. So right now, I had that slight inaccuracy with Lando, but I think I'm in pretty good shape. I'm accomplishing my goal of trying to break down the Schizor right there. And now he goes to Victini. And Victini, I have two options, Lando or Feeny. I go Lando. And the reason I go Lando is because I'm thinking, okay, I'll take this V create and now what does he do, right? So I'm thinking he has to switch out right now because he doesn't know how fast the Lando is. He doesn't know if Victini is faster than me or not. So I figured he has to switch out. But if I went Feeny, Feeny isn't really that threatening. I'm going to take a hit, I'm going to take Black Sludge damage, and then what am I going to do? Am I going to Moonblast a Toxapex? You know, what? what's the point, right? So I figured Lando was a much more aggressive switch into the Victini here. And now he should switch out because I am threatening to outspeed and kill him. But the thing is, I don't actually outspeed him. I was relying on the threat of me outspeeding him. So either he predicted me to Stealth Rock or he called my bluff, because it is true that a lot of Landos run negative speed, which I happen to be right now. I am negative speed Lando. So he probably um, uh, went for it. He went for the fact that, you know, Lando could be negative speed and he went for the uh, Glaciate there. And I was really banking on him uh, switching out, being scared of the Lando speed tier. But he gets a kill with, gets a kill with Glaciate right there. Now I go Weavile. And now that Weavile's in, I'm a lot more threatening because Skyscizor is low, Toxapex is scarfed right now. So I go to... he goes to his own Weavile as I Swords Dance right now. And now he's in a tough spot right now, because Triple Axel does kill Weavile. And I don't think it's low kick Weavile, it doesn't really make sense on the team. Um, but he goes to his own Weavile now, and I don't think it's low kick, but even if it is low kick, 
I think I have to go for the speed tie here because say I play a little passively, I go to Feeny to scout for low kick. Then again, I take black sludge damage, I take damage, and what do I do? I'm not very threatening as a Pokemon. So I decide to go for the speed tie here. And he goes to Lando, get that int Intimidate chip off right there. I don't kill the Lando, but it doesn't matter, I'll kill it next turn anyway. So I get one more off right now. And now it's still a tough situation, what does he do versus Weavile? He goes to Toxapex here as I start Swords Dancing. And he's locked into Haze right now, he's locked in. So I keep Swords Dancing, and he keeps Hazing, right? But there's a very critical thing to note. Haze has 48 PP, Swords Dance has 32 PP. So Haze will PP stall Swords Dance, except I'm Pressure Weavile. That's a big, big difference. And I forgot I was Pressure Weavile there. So I forgot I was Pressure Weavile, and I didn't take the time to notice that, hey, his PP is draining faster than mine. I didn't notice it. So I'm thinking, okay, eventually I have to start attacking right now. So even though I'm dancing right now, eventually I have to attack because of PP concerns. But I didn't realize I was the one PP stalling him. I just didn't realize it. So a big blunder on my part. See, I triple axle here thinking that eventually I have to start attacking right now. So a big, big blunder, I forgot about pressure right there. So I keep dancing, he keeps hazing, and still, I still don't notice about the haze PP dropping really, really fast, I just don't notice it. So a really big blunder on my part. And now he goes Weavile as I triple axel here. And it's gonna do around 50, which is a standard roll right there. I do get 50, I do hit all three. Now it's a speed tie, and I go for it again, and I do get the speed tie here. And a little bit lucky to get the speed tie to hit all the triple axles. And now he goes to Schizor. And Schizor doesn't actually kill Weavile with Bullet Punch. It may kill, it may not, depending on his EV spread. But I figure it's not worth risking his EV spread. Maybe I don't do enough damage. Uh, Weavile can win the game if it can pick off Victini and Dragapult. So I decide not to risk it. So I go to my own Magnezone here. He Bullet Punches. And now I can trap the Schizor. So I Thunderbolt, but it lives with 1 HP, and it roosts up. So I'm thinking, oh, is this a really bulky Schizor? So I do 43, right? I do 43, and it lives with 1. And this time I do 49, so I realize, oh, I just min-rolled it. I, I just got a little unlucky there. And I'm not saying, like, this luck changed the game. I mean, it did change the game, but I also got lucky with no Scald Burn. I got lucky with the Speed Tie and Weavile. So luck was pretty even. But I, I min-rolled that Schizor, and Schizor doesn't die because of that min-roll. And he keeps going, I keep thunderbolting, and I feel the game slipping away, and I make my second biggest blunder of the game, and I can feel it slipping away, right? I see Skizor healing back and back, and I go for Iron Defense here, trying to get damage with a strong body press, but I do even less damage than Thunderbolt. And that was just a panic move. I should have kept T-bolting, eventually I would crit, eventually I would, you know, get a paralysis, right? I should have kept T-bolting, but I felt the game slipping away, I started panicking. And then I body press, which does less than T-Bolt, right? Which was really, really sad. It was physically defensive Skizor. Now he goes into Dragapult. I don't know what to do. I get hit with the Flamethrower. In hindsight, I could have gone Tapu Fini, but I was scared of getting you know, hit by Shadow Ball, getting hit by Shadow Ball again. Maybe he U-turns. I'm in big trouble if that happens. So now I go to Curum. I throw off a Freeze Dry here. I get damage on Victini. Not the best play. And now I go Fini. Now I go Fini to take whatever hit, V-create whatever. And now, Tapu Fini outspeeds Victini. And what do I do? Do I predict Curum coming in? What do I do? I was a little scared. I, I was a little hesitant to make an uh, ambitious prediction. So I just scalded, maybe he would stay in. So I scald into Toxapex, and now I have another decision. Do I scald again, predicting Toxapex to switch out? I wasn't really sure what to do. I decide to play it safe. So I'm a little too hesitant here. So I go to Curum on potentially Toxapex using Skull, and he goes Victini, a good play from him. And now I go to Fini again, but now I'm just simply going to die, right? Well, not exactly, I do have a little bit of dying left. But now he goes to Curum, and this time he predicts me. So he's getting his predictions right, he glaciates there predicting me, I could have gone for the kill but I didn't. He predicts me well, I sacrifice Curum. But the fundamental issue is that I am going to struggle to break that Schizor because it was able to escape the trap on Magnuson. Because I didn't get that trap off, I am really going to struggle right now. I go Weavile here, you know, I throw off a knockoff, but, you know, fundamentally I cannot break that Schizor down with just a Weavile, right? So I Sword Stance here, he uses Recover, and he reveals Baneful Bunker, which turns any chance I had, you know, into zero, right? So I keep knocking off here. Nothing happens. I go to Kartana, and this time I start spamming Leaf Blade. And again, I don't have knockoff on Kartana. So I keep spamming Leaf Blade right now. 
and he's hazing to prevent anything like Swords Dance Kartana. But anyway, he goes to Dragapult now, and I don't have knockoff here. I don't have knockoff. So I Leaf Blade going for the crit here. I don't get the crit. Flamethrower kills me, and now the game is over. I am going to lose to Schizor right now. So um, overall, week one did not go as I hoped, obviously. Uh, I have a lot to learn. You know, um, I should be more patient that Weavile versus Toxapex. I should have realized Haze was going to run out of PP. Then I misplayed with that Magna Zone there. The pressure got to me. And then I had small misplays like the Lando misplay. Then I had, and then I had a team building mistake where I probably should have had knockoff on Kartana. But yeah, overall, a lot of uh, small, small mistakes. And when you're playing at the top level, like Smogon's Champions League, you can't really afford these small mistakes. You can't forget that Weavile has pressure. You can't, you know, uh, throw knockoff off of Kartana, right? So overall, a very instructive game week one. And I'm really hoping to learn a lot from this as we go on in the season. But yeah, let me know what you think, what I could have done better, what plays I should have done differently. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. But yeah, thank you.